In this video, let's talk about the graph of cosecant inverse x. We've been talking about various graphs of sin inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, cot inverse x and in the series of these graphs of inverse functions, we are now going to talk about cosecant inverse x. Let's see what schematic has been drawn. We have two schematics drawn in front of us. The first I would be taking for cosecant inverse x. This would be y is equal to cosecant x. And the second that I would be taking would be for cosecant inverse x. That would be y is equal to cosecant inverse x. So these two graphs we are going to draw. The steps are very simple. First of all, what we do, we draw the simple original graph of the trigonometric function. Then three steps to follow. Interchange x-axis with y-axis. The second step would be interchange y-axis with x-axis. And the third would be take the reflection about the line y is equal to x. y is equal to x is a line which is at 45 degrees to what line? To the coordinate axis that is x-axis and y-axis. So let's get started and let's draw the graph of y is equal to cosecant x. Firstly, let me understand and make it very much clear what is cosecant x actually. Cosecant x is nothing but 1 upon sin x that we already know. Now since cosecant x is nothing but as 1 upon sin x, what value will not be defined? I know that denominator can never ever be 0. So denominator should not be 0 that means sin x or x should not be 0. And 1 upon 0 will not be defined. So the value is defined for everything but not 0. Hence, for cosecant x, what will be my function actually having the domain and codomain as? My function would be from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. The domain would be from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. But you cannot take 0 as x value as we have already seen because sin x is sin 0 not defined for 1 upon 0. Sin 0 is 0 and 1 upon 0 is not defined. So the function will be from where to where? The function will be from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 wherein you cannot include 0 and since it is elemental 0 you can write it this manner. This is the domain. What about the second set? The second set is nothing but from minus infinity to minus 1. Where is minus infinity? Minus infinity is something downwards minus infinity to minus 1, you can close the brackets of minus 1, union 1 to infinity. This we have already learned in our junior classes that trigonometric function will have what domain and range. So it is minus infinity to minus 1, union 1 to infinity. For which function? For cosecant x. Now how does my graph of cosecant x look like? Let's see. I have minus infinity to minus 1. Minus infinity is where? It is downwards. Where is minus 1? Again downwards. Starting from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So can we not say that my graph goes from here to here? It tends towards minus infinity. You understand that there are values corresponding to which we get different values of cosecant x. So it tends towards minus infinity. What about the positive side? The positive side is nothing but what? We have 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity means what? We have positive x-axis direction. Where is 1? 1 is here. Where is infinity? Infinity is above it. So it should be from 1 to infinity. So it should be something like from 1 to infinity. That means it tends towards the above direction. Some people would make it more beautiful. So let's again make it the curve more easier to understand and more presentable. So it is from infinity and 1. So this way we drew cosecant x. Now after we have drawn cosecant x, my task is not only this much. 
my video focuses on drawing y is equal to cosecant inverse x. How to draw cosecant inverse x? Again, three simple steps. What are those steps? Interchange your x-axis with y-axis. Where was the x-axis? The x-axis was minus pi by 2, 0, pi by 2. Now my y-axis becomes minus pi by 2, 0, pi by 2. Next is what? Next step is interchange y-axis with x-axis. What is y-axis? It is 1, 0, minus 1. Now what becomes my x-axis? 1, 0, minus 1. This is clear? What is the third step? The third step is take the reflection about the line y is equal to x. You are supposed to take the reflection about the line y is equal to x. y is equal to x is what kind of line? It is a line which is at 45 degrees to which axis? To the coordinate axis. So if I have y is equal to x as a line which is slanting at 45 degrees, you understand? The line that I have drawn over here is y is equal to x. It is at slanting. Now for the mirror image, I need to take simple things. The reflection, reflection means above becomes below, below becomes above, left becomes right, right becomes left. People who are already used to watching my previous videos will understand this very clearly. In case you find it difficult, please refer to the previous videos of sin inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, cot inverse x. So I have y is equal to x as the slanting line and I am supposed to do nothing but taking the reflection. So let's take the reflection very easily. My domain and codomain have actually changed. What has become my domain now? My domain becomes minus infinity to minus 1, 1 to infinity. So my domain now becomes what? Let me write it. Minus infinity to minus 1, union 1 to infinity. This is my domain this time. You understand that domain? Right. So it is the domain. And what is the codomain or what is the range? It now becomes pi by 2 minus pi by 2 interval. But you cannot include 0. So 0 will not be touched. Never be touched in fact. Right. So just joining simply, it becomes from you say 1 and pi by 2. What relation can be derived from here? It was that 1 and pi by 2 were related with a curve. Here again I can relate 1 and pi by 2 with a simple curve. And the curve is nothing but what? It is nothing but a simple curve wherein things would not touch or intersect. Rather they would tend towards something. So this is the manner in which it tends towards something. Make it straighter. You can always use your rulers and all. Right? So it starts from 1, tends towards plus infinity scale. What about the next graph? The next graph is for the negative axis. The negative axis is minus 1 again. What happened in the first graph? In the first graph we saw that it was negative direction and from negative direction we were going downwards. It was in the scale of minus 1. So now again what we are going to do? We are going to see the negative direction and we will be going downwards. So let's see what are we supposed to do. We are going to start from something here and it goes till minus 1 and then what happens? It goes down to minus pi by 2. So in this manner, we drew the graph of cosecant inverse x. What are the simple steps to follow? Three simple steps to follow after you draw the graph of original cosecant x. The first is interchange x-axis with y-axis. The second is interchange y-axis with x-axis and the third and the last step is to take the reflection about the line y is equal to x. So in the next video, we'll be seeing the graph of secant inverse x.